Have you ever heard of Cradle of Sins? I'm not familiar with the game Cradle of Sins. In the gaming universe, we introduce a groundbreaking technology that promises to redefine player interactions, our own AI-powered smart NPCs. Artificial intelligence or AI is not just a buzzword, it's the force behind chatbots and virtual assistants. But what if I can tell you that this technology called artificial intelligence in non-playable character is going to revolutionize the gaming industry? Our artificial intelligence technology allows characters to possess diverse voices, facial expressions aligned with the conversation's tone and spontaneously generated dialogues. This not only enriches the experience but also reduces the laborious work of extensive voice acting and facial expression animations. Let's dive straight into this live demo. Watch as our team interacts with the game using just their voices. This is Gaming Reimagined. Hello, hi, what's your name? Hi there, my name is Isabella. Nice to meet you. T tell me something about yourself. Sure, well, I was born and raised in Seville, Spain. I'm passionate about art, literature and history, and I like to explore Madrid's vibrant nightlife in my free time. I'm also known for my quick wit and sense of humor. Um, tell me, tell me a funny joke. Uh, tell me some pun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell me a funny joke. Okay, here's one. What did one ocean say to the other ocean? Nothing. You are such a stupid AI. Shut up. <laughs> the, the timing was so precise. I love the timing. Which sort of games do you play in VR? I enjoy playing a variety of virtual reality games, such as shooters, adventure games, and puzzle games. Let's discuss behavior trees, industry's gold standard for artificial intelligence. They function like a predefined script directing artificial intelligence based on preset scenarios. But in Cradle of Sins, our AI adheres to the trees until you step in. Upon receiving your command, our artificial intelligence dramatically changes its approach. It zeroes in on the task you provided, undeterred by the in-game distractions. It's akin to having a loyal ally, always prepared to heed your call. Our artificial intelligence doesn't just hear, it sees, it reacts. Conversations with NPC have never been this dynamic. Gone are the days of repetitive dialogues. Every interaction feels fresh, genuine and unpredictable. Recall when game characters had restricted scripts. With our artificial intelligence, we are ushering an era of NPCs which possess memory, depth, emotions and unpredictably mirroring human complexities. Today we are going to a place called Geek Retreat in Bristol to get some community feedback and opinions on our tech demo for this artificial intelligence. So the whole idea is that in future you will have these NPCs and so suppose if you are playing the, playing the game today and uh, you, you want to, you know, you discuss something uh, uh, with that today mm -hmm. and then in like next 10 days you kind of mention it again, it will kind of have a recall memory and like it will talk to you about that very speci specific incident. Tell AI to just go around and fetch one particular uh, object and it will pick it up and like, bring it to you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Public test comes out, then you'll be able to open that one. I'm fairly certain it should be free. We need to test it. Is it something that can be found on um, something like Steam or is yeah, it yeah, it's on Steam. Oh, nice, nice. I'll definitely do that. MT scene. Uh, we have we have we have like fully developed game, and we are going to put this inside the game. What kind of emotions do you have? Right now, it's thinking a bit. So sadness, anger, fear, more. I'm able to, and like, it's it's not speaking in just one voice. 
it, yeah. it's it's voice changing when she's being angry like according to the emotions as well oh, oh no it crashed it, it crashed <laughs> oh no it crashes Every time we've ever said something bad about it yeah it yeah it's not a bug it's a feature <laughs> are you intending to i'm assuming you can have player like if you do pvp or play with people it can be both pc and vr and people yeah can yeah yeah, play yeah. With each other and play yeah, no, it's cross between the two. I mean, That's nice. obviously later down the line, if PC ends up having an advantage or whatever, it might become an optional thing. But yeah, as yeah, of yeah. now, it's intended for it to be always just whoever's got the game can play regardless play of what they're on. Yeah. We have we have a basic bare minimum sort of product right now, yeah. but. Yeah, in distant future, we are we are kind of working towards. Uh, you know, in future, I do believe gaming will have NPCs, AI and yeah, NPCs. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, a game Cradle of Sense will be like one of the pioneer games who will have that sort of capacity. Yeah, it's it's in its baby phase yeah. right now. So you know, but basically using AI to generate. Yeah. Talk. Talk. Yeah. Dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, thank you. Thank you for joining in. Uh, thank you for your time as well. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. We recently experimented with SpongeBob AI as a joke for our crossbow video to interact with team and roast them. I, I, Captain, let's make this as funny as a jellyfishing mishap. This sparked an idea to take AI even further and attempt to implement it in our game and see what could be achieved. One. Happy birthday <laughs> to you! Happy birthday! <laughs> In this scenario, we are kind of uh, hanging by, uh, you know, a boat, and uh, we are attached to this rope, mm -hmm. and we have to convince AI uh, to not kill us. If you say anything mean or anything inconsistent, it has a timer, so it will go down. Uh, very little bit if you say anything inconsistent and it can go up as well. Please don't kill me. Well, well, well. Aren't you just full of charm? Don't worry. I won't kill you this time. But don't push your luck or that lever might start looking mighty tempting. I don't think so. You can cut the rope. You want to so. test me? Can, what, what are the objects you can see around? The only object I see around is a sword. <laughs> Can you go and pick it up? She was like, oh, I just rob or kill you instead. I will give you money, please don't kill me. It's still talking to you. Hello, I'm under the water. Look at me. Who is your creator? My creator is the game developers of Cradle of Sins. They brought me to life in this virtual world. Why would you kill your creator? Because I'm a sarcastic villain in the game Cradle of Sins, and killing you is just part of the fun. I was in the depths of my lair, plotting my next move. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean next move? What was your first move? My first move was to introduce myself as the sarcastic villain, Alicia. As for my next move, well, that's for me to know and for you to find out. Who's your favorite character in the game Cradle of Sins? My favorite character in Cradle of Sins? Well, that would be me, of course. Who else could match my wit and charm? So what do you think about the current implementation of AI and uh, what do you think, uh, you know, how we can get it better? I think uh, the direction we are headed in or the direction you're headed in is, yeah. is good. But it's again like, you know, it's like polishing the AI. It's responsive. It can solve complicated questions because I've asked your AI like, um, you know, like complicated math, mathematical questions and, and I was able to solve them. Yes. Indeed, it takes like a lot of time to do that, but but it's it's um it's accurate, right? So I'll yeah. give it that. I do see it having like a huge potential. Yeah. If you tap it correctly. Uh, so what do you think about uh, till now? What's the current implementation of AI? Do you do you think uh, it could get better? Uh, yeah, I would say so because obviously at the moment it's like the response times in it. That's a little bit iffy. It could be a little bit like dragged out. So obviously we can try and minimize that. That would be yeah. quite uh 
quite yeah. good. Obviously, we've been looking into the Actions API as yeah. well to try and get it so it's more than just speaking to you. So yeah. I think that's what would obviously revolutionize the game if we can actually get the AI to actually like listen to commands that you're throwing at it and whatnot. Yeah. What do you think about the movements versus the chatbot part of it? Do you think the chatbot would be something which which will people people would prefer, or do you want like you know uh, it to be uh, doing something? I've been doing something definitely. Like uh, having a chatbot which you can speak to yeah. is cool, but getting an AI which you can tell to go do something that's cooler. I mean, yeah, like yeah, if you're yeah. playing a game, you haven't got a teammate. If you're going to have AI teammates running around on your side anyway, yeah. at least being able to tell them to do stuff would yeah. be way more useful than them just running around aimlessly. The horizon of Cradle of Sins gleams with promise. From richer narratives to adaptive gameplay, we are eager for the journey ahead. As we set forth on this expedition, remember our exploration into the voice controlled artificial intelligence is fueled by passion for innovation. Its role in our game isn't set in stone, but our zeal of pushing limits is unwavering. Thank you for accompanying us, stay connected, and as always, game on.